little townhouse that I recently listed and in just a couple minutes a buyer is coming by to take a look at the home. But I wanted to share some information with you that I just shared with her on the phone. She found it helpful and I'm hoping that you'll find it helpful as well. You see this particular buyer is a first time home buyer and she's concerned about her monthly outlay. She's very smart to be focused on monthly outlay and as we talked about numbers she shared with me that she spends about $950 a month on rent currently and that's a comfortable number to her. In fact, she used a great phrase. She said that that was a number at which her sleep factor was high, meaning she wouldn't stress out about monthly bills after she owned a house if her outlay was about at that point. I thought that was a great phrase. In addition, she had very wisely taken out of that $950 an amount for HOA or Homeowners Association dues. She understood correctly that most townhomes have an HOA fee and some subdivisions for detached homes do as well, particularly in the areas in which she was interested. But she said to me that her lender said she could only spend up to about $130,000 on her next home and she just wasn't finding anything she liked in that price range. Well, as I spoke with her further, we took a look at the numbers a little more closely than the lender had and come to find out of the $950 per month, she had assumed HOA fees would be $150 per month and sometimes they are. But with that $150, it actually left her only $800 per month for her mortgage and that's what led the lender to say she could borrow up to $130,000. As I spoke with her and we looked at some of the options, she was shocked to find out that at today's mortgage rates, if we were to take some or all of that $150 and add that back into her mortgage amount, Either we find a home that has no HOA fees or we find a home like this town home where the HOA fees are significantly less than $150 per month that made a huge impact at how much home she could buy. In fact, if we were to find her a home with no HOA fees at all, she could then afford a $193,000 home, which is a hugely different home than what you can get for $130,000, with no difference in her monthly outlay and consequently no negative impact in her sleep factor. Hey, that was helpful information to her. We're now revisiting some of her price points. She's very interested in this townhouse, and there's a couple other options we can show her as well. Well, it was helpful to her. I hope that's helpful to you. If you or someone you know is thinking about buying a house or selling a home in this area, we would love to help you. Just